Hi guys, so uh, we are in Cow now. Uh, we went a little bit further than expected to get here. Um, circumstances change, <laughs> as they do. But anyway, I uh, wanted to show you this, uh, oh, and it's windy, and it's been raining. <laughs> I wanted to show you this silo art, so have a look at this. <laughs> That is amazing. Oh. If you turn around, you can see how back dark it is back towards the caravan park. Yeah, our caravan park's that way. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the weather's not the greatest at the moment. We've been hunkered down for two days. Oh, this is the second day. And uh, yeah, but <laughs> we're going stir crazy in the caravan and needed to come out for a bit so we're braving the wind for a few minutes um, but anyway the um, information I was just reading on this silo art um, was quite interesting so here's the photo of the gentleman that's actually uh, in the silo art the one in the scooter in the scooter yeah yeah so that's that's him so it actually says that um, this artist in the picture here, uh, his name's Austin Nitsua, and he actually, it only took two and a half weeks to complete this painting. I thought they were going to say two and a half years. That's incredible. But anyway, um, it says that the black and white in the um, painting represents the past, and the features in the colour represent the essence of what remains. Um, and the ring neck parrot represents the ongoing journey and the community is on together and rising above the challenges they share. So, yeah. So, oh, actually, here's a photo of him and his camel. again there huh. and it's um I won't read it all out but um there it is on there you can pause the screen if you like and read that information but um I know some people like information boards some people don't so um yeah but we'll go into town now and uh, we went for a drive there yesterday and some of the buildings are just absolutely beautiful um, obviously uh, original buildings yeah um, awesome buildings yeah so um, yeah we'll go into uh, into the town center and uh, show you around see you shortly so here we are just driving down into the town center Just to show some of the uh, beautiful buildings that's around here. Commercial hotel. I think the IGA is the, the newest building. Yeah. It's I love the good. hotel, the Franklin Hotel Harbour. Harbour Hotel, sorry. Awesome. Looks absolutely awesome. Mmm, that is stunning. When we come out further, um, Caravan, another caravan park is just back there. Splash Park here. And then we're coming out to a boat ramp area. But it actually looks like this building here is not completed yet, but it looks like that they may change uh, where the ferry leaves from. Mm. Um, maybe. That's what we're just assuming, but it may not be. Um, 
It currently leaves from Lucky Bay and goes over to Moonta. Um, but it just looks like a rare, very large building for a boat ramp. So could be day facilities. It could be. I don't know. It's yeah. a fairly large barge. I don't know. It, it, it wouldn't get into this harbour. There's no way. Yeah. So there it is. But yeah, you can see inside the building there. Well, you may not be able to see on the screen, but um, yeah, there's still building inside there. So we're not quite sure. Just guesstimating. But yeah, we'll um, we'll do uh, some more day tripping tomorrow. Um, it's meant to be better weather tomorrow and hopefully the sun might come out where things look a bit nicer. <laughs> it's hard filming when it's weather's so bleak and, and that we've just got an in-between spot at the moment where the winds died down a tiny bit. Um, Looks like one of the uh, oyster boats being oh, yeah. retrieved. Yeah. Hmm. There's just to your left there, Tracy. There, that's actually the mangrove walk. We got some uh... mangrove walk. Yeah, we might do that tomorrow when the weather is supposed to be a little bit better. Um, so we'll come back and do that. And yeah, oh, there's a better view of the other caravan park just there. Uh, that caravan park would be handy if you wanted to walk to the pub and have a few drinks and not have to drive. Or have kids because it's right next door to a Oh, the splash, splash park. park, yeah, that's right, and exactly. Water yeah. slides and Yeah, it would be convenient castle, for that. Uh, um, not castles. We, we're in the, we saw, always seem to end up in the one that's out of town. <laughs> um, wasn't really intentional, but uh, yeah, the one that we're actually staying at has got a pool, which is going to waste <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> we can't right. hop in it. <laughs> it's way too cold for that. Oh, looks like a We're in summer park. apparently. <laughs> There's a skate park in there as well. Oh yeah, a little skate park. Oh, I'll just try and get out over there to show. Jumping pillow. Yeah, so that caravan park sort of backs right onto that, so that would be convenient for families. Um, yeah, so uh, we'll do a bit more day tripping tomorrow with the weather hopefully getting a little bit better to show you more around the cowl area. Depends so, on the weather gods. I know, yeah. <laughs> but that's, you know, as we've said before, that's that's travelling and we can't do anything about the weather, so we, we try our best and um, try and get out and about when we can. But. Um, Looking back down towards Port Lincoln Way, it's very black and very wet. I know. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so we'll be back when, when we're able <laughs> and um, show you more around the area. See you then. All right, so we have uh, come for a little drive, uh, which is 15 kilometers from Cal uh, to Lucky Bay. And Lucky Bay is where the ferry departs and arrives to go across to the York Peninsula and um, to Moonta Bay. So I'll just show you here. So that's where the uh, vehicles go on. Yeah. And go out across. Yeah, so we uh, we actually did look up the prices to for just interest sake to go across with the caravan on the back, but um, we would spend less money on fuel driving around to Minter Bay than going on the ferry. But yeah, be a I guess um, if you had a job or something across over there, it would be handy to travel across. Um, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, it's um, time-wise, it'd be if you were short for time, that's the way to go because it cuts off a huge amount of kilometres. But uh, as far as price-wise, if you weren't in a hurry it, it, at the moment, um, with fuel prices and that, it would be definitely cheaper to go by car. If you were towing, if you were towing a caravan, it's a lot cheaper. Just a car mm -hmm. price by itself is a lot cheaper. But a car and a caravan is it's like 
a lot like going across to Kangaroo Island. It, it jumps up considerably in uh, in price when you've got a caravan on the back. So yeah, we'll put up if if we if we remember it, we'll put up some. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try and I'll look up the prices and um, put them up on the screen just just for interest sake. Um, so today I'll be more out and about. Um, Chris is actually when we were in Port Lincoln, sprained his ankle. Not sure if he's done some damage to some ligaments or not, but uh, so he's just the chauffeur today, and I'll be hopping out and doing the walking around. Hopefully he uh, improves soon. All right, we'll go to the next place. So we are further up the road, we're doing the Old Banner We Are Tourist Drive. Uh, so I'll show you some footage of um, coming to here. Just down the road is the campground. Um, I took a photo of the prices so I can put that up on the screen. But here is the Old Banner We Are. So in terms of weirs, it's not the biggest weir we've ever seen, but it's a weir, nevertheless. Uh, apparently, according to Wiki Camps, if we follow up this road and go left somewhere, we'll end up with a, on a main road that goes to some other interesting things. So we'll see where this road ends up. Let me and following Wiki Camps and taking us on unknown tracks. So we'll see where this leads. Alrighty, that road led to a gate and a fence, so without knowing if it's private property or not, it wasn't signed or anything, we have turned around and we'll go back the way we came and I've seen there's another road across to the other road, maybe. <laughs> we'll find out soon, <laughs> see you shortly. Alrighty, so we've ended up on the Cow Kimber Road. Um, there was one place that I saw on Wiki Camps that looked interesting, which is right here. And uh, apparently it used to be an old school, so we'll just cross the road and have a look. Yeah. Let's see where the best pathway is here. Try not to stand on a snake. Ugh. Ooh, Lordy. Ugh. Ooh, she was. Ooh. Alright, that bird scared me. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> so we're actually about 66 kilometers from Kimber at the moment, which is the halfway point between Sydney and Perth. Um, Imagine going to school in this tiny little building. I guess there was for the farm kids. That's amazing. Just look out the window. Interesting. Well, there you go. 
Well, we're going to head back towards Cow now, and um, I might do the mangrove walk that we saw. Uh, that looked a little bit interesting, and um, yeah, we're just so happy to be out and about today with the sun out. Hallelujah! See you soon. I have a quick question for you. Can pigs fly? Well, I have the answer. And little aeroplanes, yes. <laughs> Just saw that as we're driving past, just had to <laughs> see you shortly. Okay, so we're back in Cow um, and have made it to the mangrove boardwalk. So this was established in 2001 um, by the Lions Club. So we're going to be walking out amongst the mangroves. township of Cal in the um, shopping town center uh, so I'll just show you around the beautiful historical buildings they've got the Franklin pub over there well there's a new IDA there but well, Institute Council Museum's not open today, there's the post office. So yeah, there's some uh, lovely old buildings here, but there's something that I've uh, read about that I want to go and check out now. I'll see you shortly. Okay, so this is what I've read about. I'll have to check if anyone's inside before I film, but have a look at this. We have crop art. I will go in check if see if there's anyone inside or not, and we'll have a look inside. Okay, coast is clear. No one is in here. But look at this. Literally, art in the toilets. I wouldn't call it crap art. I reckon it's pretty good art. They're all for sale. How amazing is that? So apparently all these um, artists are self-taught and they actually go to the institute next door um, and paint there together, um, yeah, which is fantastic. How quirky is that? Oh look, even inside the stall. <laughs> The things you see around town. I didn't believe it, but now I do. Alright, next stop is the Black Stump. So what happened was in 1972, um, a New Year prank was conducted where a Black Stump was situated between two pubs and it was uh, it read the best pub this side of the black stump 
<laughs> so it was between two pubs. So um, a, the original one was stolen apparently and the larger stump that's here now was erected in its place. It uh, doesn't say when, but it weighs over two tonne. Wow. So there it is. a bit more interesting facts around here so the two pubs are actually there's one across the road but there's a commercial and then the other one down the road so it's not really between two pubs now I don't know if it used to be or they've just moved it anyway there's the bakery and the commercial hotel all right next stop we've uh, gone for a drive about 20 kilometers from Cal to uh, Port Port or Point Gibbon, one of the two. Um, so I'm just walking down here. Chris can't with his ankle at the moment, but um, just walking down onto the beach. So there is a, a campground just here. Um, looks like it's $20 a night and um, they've got a toilet here from what we've seen but um, there's meant to be a seal colony uh, down here so that was the point of this trip and just to see another area that was sort of passed uh, going into this area on our way to Cow so I thought we'd go for a bit of a drive and Hopefully you can hear me because uh, it's a little bit windier here. It's uh, uh, facing south is there. So the southerly winds that you get in South Australia, oh, you'd feel it when they uh, got a bit stronger. So let's have a look around. Alright, so I'll walk up a bit further and uh, I'm not sure if there's any seals actually here at the moment. May not be. So, um, yeah, I'll check back in in a second. Okay. So I'm just checking the um, sand dunes out. They're actually quite hard and compacted. Um, and cars have been up here so Chris said he might just let the tyres down a bit and uh, come on over and have a look so we'll see him shortly but yeah cars have been here and definitely I'm not sinking I'm not sinking or anything when I'm walking so I think about to do it no worries well this is a little bit random Was that actually a vehicle? Um, that doesn't look like a car or well, maybe it was something put, okay, guys, yeah, put together. All right, Chris is going to come down. Good old walkie talkies. All righty, we'll see you shortly. All right, we'll see him coming down. the car maybe
So is that worth you getting on your sore foot for doing that? Yeah, always. <laughs> Beats Victorian beaches, eh? Definitely. <laughs> Alright, so this is uh, along where the Point Gibbon area is and there's plenty of uh, camping spots as you can see. They'll be subject to direct southerly winds which is pr the predominant wind down here at this time. Um, so be prepared for high winds because you're right up on a, um, a cliff face. Um, but there is certainly heaps of camp camping areas or low-cost camping areas. As you drive in, there's a few um, sheds, uh, shelters that have got the low-cost donation bins where you stop and fill out your permit and put your money into that and drop it into the slot. So uh, do the right thing if you're, you're going to go here and um, pay for your, your camping. Well, I'm way. assuming it's still that and it's not online, I'm not sure. It just says... Um, uh, camping permit um, point so yeah anyway yeah but yeah definitely a beautiful spot but uh, yeah it would get windy on windy days I guess but yeah. um, anywhere along here is going to be like that but that's what you get for having beautiful scenery <laughs> yeah um, you can see from the other footage that you can access the beach um, yeah, it, it was low tide at the time, so but the, the, the sand was quite good today. It's not going to be always that way. Um, keep that in mind, so uh, drive to your conditions, have recovery gear with you. Um, but yeah, it's, you can get down onto the beach with a four-wheel drive and um, trundle along the beach, find a nice spot, set up fish, have a picnic, swim, whatever. Keep in mind also that they're, they're not patrolled beaches. So if you are swimming, um, just be careful. Alright, time to head home I think. Yeah. <laughs>